And on that wonderful way to start the video, let's head to the theater. Last-minute gift? Cinemark can help with our e-gift card. It's convenient to email with a custom... For some reason, this is only a DVD release. There's no Blu-ray for this. Why are we taking a step backward here, people? I actually did a post about this not too long ago. It was actually pretty good. Actually, much better than I remember it. And reasonably priced, too. I literally paid half price for this over at Best Buy. Just why? Just why? I just don't get why people have to do that. Like, that's the third time in the last three years now that somebody has to taken one of those slip covers and put another movie in there. There, like, two years ago it was Doctor Strange, last year it was Cars 3, this year it's Overlord. That was one I really wanted to get because they didn't have it Best Buy. I'm upset about that. But hey, you know what? Their loss, I can find it on Amazon probably cheaper. Still can't believe Can You Ever Forgive Me was more than twice than what I paid for at Best Buy. That's ridiculous. I'm so confused. Is this supposed to be a comedy? Or am I supposed to take this seriously? Oh my god, it's a first look at the new car from Emma Stone's Cruella de Vil remake. Well, at least Will Smith looks better here than he does in Aladdin. Could have been a great, good movie, but could have been a great movie if the end, if the last forty minutes had been better. That's what I've been wanting to get, see. Bucks. Uh, 
Oh, his shit's hanging out. <laughs> Tonight's Powerball jackpot now has an estimated annuity of 304 million. 304 million. So don't forget to play. Visit your local retailer for tickets. Pennsylvania lottery proceeds benefit older Pennsylvanians every day. Players must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. Indeed knows it's hard to find qualified candidates when you're hiring. It's like finding a unicorn. But when you post your job on Indeed. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, I think I found the thing I was looking for. I thought it was ten dollars. I thought it was ten dollars, but it says down there it's seven. If this is the right thing I'm thinking of. In the pot you go. I don't get this one. You get the Blu-ray of the first Hellboy, and then you get the DVD of the second Hellboy movie. I'll just have both on there. Both on one set single format. That's not a bad set. Except for these two. Jeff Paw Cute Life. What the heck are these things? Okay, the follow your dreams part I understand because it's Freddy Krueger, but rainbows? Does that have something to do with the second Nightmare on Elm Street movie that I just don't know about? Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing. This is my toothless plush I got from a couple years ago. I just used it in my Stardust review for How to Train Your Dragon 3, which I loved. You're going to hear more about that in my review when I post it tomorrow, but I want to bring out this little guy again, because you know what? I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss seeing him in the big screen. Alright, time to get this bad boy a test drive. Look at that. Look at that professional shit. Outstanding. <laughs> 